guys, once again, welcome to the Bus TV show with your fabulous girl here. Hey, Ngozi, how you doing? And your man G and your James. What's wrong with you? You don't want to say nothing? I been told, yeah, that you should shut up. Why? Because you talk too much. <laughs> I wonder how long that's going to last. <laughs> Oh, what that hurts. <laughs> anyway, man, you know the viewers love to hear your voice. I, I do that as well. Man. I want to hear you say something, man. Come on now. There you Hi, go. guys. Oh, oh, that sounds so good, man. Don't you love that girl, man? <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, my darling. Thank you, guys. Yes, I was told by the producer to stop talking because I talk too much. The only reason he said that was because I was gushing about this outfit that we were wearing, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks beautiful. And I was talking about it. Can you guys see my hat? This is so ascot worthy, don't you think? And you know, I was just talking about it and you told me to go quiet because I talk too much. And what do you mean you wonder how long that would last? I mean, that was a compliment, you know. <laughs> don't, wait, don't, don't hit me. On yeah, TV. exactly. Yeah, I don't care if on TV, I will hit you. So, anyway, guys, um, so this outfit, we've been sponsored by this wonderful designer. Her name is Sissy Sibanda, and her design house is called Personic. It's wonderful because we're oh, yeah. well, I'm definitely loving it. I love your outfit as well. Oh, you? thank you so much, you man. She hooked me up real good. She's mm -hmm. a fabulous looking woman as well. And I, I heard she's going to be on Fashion Connect. Yes! Yeah. Yes, Fashion Connect is going down today, guys, so don't go anywhere because you get to meet the design of this fabulous outfit. Yeah. That was new beats, man. I hope you enjoyed that. That was mm -hmm. great. I love that. Anyway, we're gonna start. We're gonna dive straight into the news yeah. now, and we're starting from Nigeria. Yeah. But the economy is so dry there, man. It was even hard for us to get news from that. <laughs> oh man, it's rough. Well, we know the economy is rough, and you know. Man, thank you, Buhari. We can great never job. stop it. <laughs> We're, we're Nigerians, we're survivors, we can never not have news. In fact, you're saying news. Let me start with this one. You're the actor Aiko Bunna. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I you like hear him. he's been bashed because he wears earrings, just like somebody we know. We shan't name them, just oh, what say, where it, our it, eyes it's really, rest. It's really, it's really rough there, man, if they're starting to talk about earrings and stuff. <laughs> <Like>, seriously? <laughs> So basically they're just having a pop at him because he wears earrings and he's like, ah, who created earrings? Was it not man? You know, that God didn't say earrings are for man or woman. Anybody can wear earrings. So if you want to wear them, knock yourself out. And, you know, I said, of course he's right. I mean, I, we're not one to talk. Our dapper and uh, ND wears Seriously? earrings. Not just one, two. And yours are like more expensive than all my wardrobe I've put seen together. anointed men of God with earrings now. What the... Let me just cool down. Let's just leave that talk. I was wearing this since since back in the nineties. Nobody said anything. Two thousand and um, what year is it now? So I Oh my God! Anyway, guys, listen. Let's oh, go straight man. into the news. Oh, Indeed. Oh yes. Um, let's leave Nigeria because it's pretty dry there, man. Let's come back to the UK. <laughs> well, the BFI yeah. has embraced Nollywood once again, and they got someone very important to talk about the industry. I'm so excited about Absolutely. this. Absolutely, that is correct. BFI, the British Film Institute, is a collaboration between them and Nollywood. Check the news out. We'll talk about it when we come back. The Nollywood film industry saw recognition of a prestigious type in the form of the British Film Institute. The institute, which promotes and preserves filmmaking in the United Kingdom, explored the Nollywood film industry by presenting Beyond Nollywood, which hosted a marathon weekend of over 15 impressive films from the Nigerian cinema. Curated by the author Nadia Denton, films picked included No Good Turn by director Odoka Onyeka, Honey, directed by Olu Ososanya, as well as the musical documentary Faji Agba by UK-based Remy Vaughan Richards. The three-day event ended with Nollywood's favourite actress Nse Ikbe Etim joining the curator on stage in conversation about her career journey and the Nollywood star system. Reaching us say it was a suicide bomber driving a truck with food supplies close to the popular fish market. Details of the casualties are unknown, but residents are advised to stay indoors. Well, that's insane. It paid it to my girl from my hometown, man. Keep doing your thing, girl. Say them again. Say them again. Say it paid them. <laughs> I 
love the way he says it. How cool. Yes, that was great. I mean, like, the, the British Film Institute, the, I, I think the fantastic thing that Nollywood is doing, and of course with the organization Beyond Nollywood, trying to take Nollywood beyond and far, far, far above what we do now. And so this collaboration is really a good thing. I remember last week we were at the Houses of Parliament. Yes, I had to throw that in because the buzz is going places. <laughs> we were invited to the Houses of Parliament to listen in on um, what Beyond Nollywood is doing for the movie industry, as in the Nollywood industry here in the UK and collaboration with Nigeria as well. I like so, that, yeah, yeah. It's time to cross over. I think we're doing pretty well. I think so too. Well. I think so, so too. It's time to start going into um, production that crosses over. Yeah. And um, I think that's And for BFI forward. to be showcasing like, or oh, they did showcase about 17, 17 Nollywood films. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, so that's thumbs down to you producers that think that we can't make intelligent movies and stuff, you know, like you think in about Nollywood. In, I know. We do make up bets. <laughs> Well, girl, you know you always make magic happens, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's very dry in Nigeria, but I heard you still found something, right? Uh oh. <laughs> the way you make, it sound, you make it sound like I go about digging for gossip and stuff yeah, like that. Well, I do, it. but you don't have to, like, say it like that. Um, anyway, it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. It's not so much news. Listen, it's just a little gist. So, you know, you guys know the OAP on, on air personality. I love how they say OAP. Because, yeah. you know, like here, OAP means old age pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> so, it cracks me up. But anyway, the OAP in Nigeria is on air personality. Uh -huh. That it frees now for Cool FM. So, um, that, is it still working for Cool that FM? I can't just, even remember. I know, it got fired. I thought he did. But he said he quit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not talking about that. The most important thing yeah, is news, uh. that, um, yeah, he's always in the news. <laughs> for one thing so or the I'm other so good, so. and this time he's gotten into like a, a social media war if you like i love my social media you know that's where i get all my gossip from instagram instagram mm. i love my instagram okay, yeah. so anyway daddy freeze has gotten into this thing because he he made a comment he said oh no somebody else wrote something and said that he believes Igbo women are better than yoruba women in so many words and then that the freeze agreed with the person i can't remember his name that's what i'm not saying that the freeze agreed and um now made even more comments to say that in his own time what he knows is they're better they're they are good listeners they're this they're that more than yoruba people and then the other on air personality dotun got mad and so they now call one another out on social media on instagram to be precise which i thought was is very funny wow. so that, that's happening now that's the news yeah. Surely. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. These people have different talents, you know. So if this is what it's into, maybe a particular trend, different but, talent. I don't yeah. like how you said that talent, because <laughs> anybody that doesn't know would think it's talent in sense of you know actually your art. What kind of talent are you talking about? Okay, you know what? Let's not. You have know, that like, question. I think uh, women are all different, and you know, like um, when you talk about Calabar girls, Aquaibum girls, we know what they. What do they say about them? Go on. Um, what do they say about them? You know them? what people say about them? And what they're do people good say about them? If guys are into that kind of stuff, then they'll be very happy with a Calabar woman. <laughs> <But> <laughs> <laughs> something, I mean, it, Andy, wow. this is a family program. Everybody watches this program, so keep it locked down. Let's start again. Oh, your mind is so filthy. That's not where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We're going to go to East Africa right now because, oh uh, man, you know, when you talk about East Africa music, <laughs> you'll be thinking about Diamond Platinum. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So recently, he just dropped a hot single, and there was a little controversy about that. Yeah. It's all the news. Tanzania's award-winning artist Diamond Platinum has been duped out of a whopping 25 million Tanzanian shillings by Saida Karoli's manager. According to reports, the songstress agreed for her hit song, Maria Salome, to be given to Diamond Platinum for a remix for free, but unknown to her, her manager collected 25 million from Diamond instead. Miss Carolla maintains that she gave him the song for free in an effort to help bring her nation's music industry to an international level of recognition and has since denied receiving any money from her manager in regards to the song. Whoa, man, I love the guy hustle right there, man. You don't want the money? I gotta do it for me. I'm sorry, that guy is that I, me. If, if that was me, Saida, I'm suing him because that's fraudulent. You're using my name to collect money from somebody else. I'm not even getting anything out of it. And well, you know, if he's a smart guy, then he will work on the contract and make sure he protects himself with it. I'm so. gonna protect himself. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to lie with your name, collect all that money, and run away. <laughs> and also, he quit. He quit. You know, being her manager after all of that. Well, yeah, because the woman don't want money, man. I'm working for someone that wants to get paid, you know? And like, I'm so I'm embarrassed to be sitting here with you right now because it just shows me the kind of person that you are. But I need One the money day you might just sell me. No. Pocket the money. No. And man. I wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> Do I look like T-bills? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, cool, man. Still staying on Southern African news. Nyasha Michelle has a quick roundup of Southern African entertainment news. For those of you who are not in South Africa, the Feather Awards are an annual LGBT community awards that is well known for throwing some shade. And this year, everything was directed at Bonang. First of all, they spoke about her diverish demands by asking her stylist to be flown from New York all the way to South Africa when she was hosting the MTV Mamas Awards in 24 hours. And then they spoke about her relationship with Nigerian star Deband. But lastly, hashtag show me the receipts was being used when they were questioning whether she is actually an ambassador for Revlon. Question is, is she or isn't she? Guys, that's all from me and I will be seeing you next time. But anyway, me, I'm liking the Bonang story. Bonang, you know, I do feel sorry for her sometimes because like she always gets slammed for one thing or the other. Uh, yeah, you know, she's stunning, beautiful, another woman will hate. So it's all right. <laughs> I, I can't love believe Bonang. you just said that. I can't believe you just said <laughs> that. Oh, she's a gorgeous woman. I love everything Women don't about hate her. her. I like her. I always attack her. I am a woman and I like her. Yeah, great. Great for you. Other women should learn to do that. I it's don't like right. your sarcasm. Anyway, we're going to go on a little <laughs> break right now. You know how we do. Keep it on lockdown. We'll see you on the other side.